What's up gamers? It's demo time. Get ready. From Crave Mob. I present to you, let's demo L Chronicle. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are trying a new mobile RPG today. This is a game that I am absolutely in love with right now. This game is so good. I can't begin to tell you the many, many things I like about this game. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with how I got playing this game to begin with. Um, well, first and foremost, I've watched one of FG3000's videos as far as the first impression. And it looked interesting, but my girlfriend saw me watching this too, and she was talking about how much she liked the graphics. Uh, she thought the fairy was cute and all that stuff, so... I thought, you know what, I'll eventually play this. And I procrastinated for a while, but I actually just started playing this a little less than a week ago, and I'm hooked. It's ridiculous. Basically, on rare occasions, I can get hooked on a game. The last time I was actually hooked on a game was when Langrisser came out. And I was really, really hyped and proud to demo that and even play it for a while. I'm probably going to get back into it eventually. But this game right here, really hard for me to put down. So... Let's go ahead and uh, get started, show you exactly what this is about. And yes, I did throw my money at the screen so I can get some uh, skins for that lady there in red. That's right. And then uh, I also did the monthly thing where you can get something, you know, some resources every day. Those are the microtransactions I always say are the best to get are the ones where you get something daily for some kind of thing, you know, once a month. And then you, it's not like one of those automatic renewal subscriptions. You just pay for it when you have the money and you have whatever you have for a month. But well, anyway, let's get to the game itself. We're going to do a few modes here. Um, I'll start off by letting you know that this isn't one of your typical hero collectors where you're going to be spending a bunch of diamonds or jewels or resources to luckily get a hero. In this game, when you're using your resources, you're more getting weapons. Uh, this game, you get heroes by going to the inn or by doing the story, uh, depending on who you're trying to unlock. And basically what you're doing is you're talking to people to get their affection up. I think King's Raid does something similar to this, where you go to an inn, you talk to somebody for a while, and then once their affection is high enough, you can recruit them. So with this person right here, I can do a free greeting. And each thing resets, you know, every so much time like this resets every 30 minutes. The gold thing will be another 30 minutes. And then this thing here will also be 30 minutes. Now, there are certain things that will reset within an hour, depending on who you're trying to recruit and whatnot. And once you get their affection to 100%, you can, like, auto-recruit, basically. I could try sooner, but I'm just not going to. I'm going to do it the right way. And so these are the people that I'm trying to recruit. You can recruit up to two people at a time uh, as far as, you know, how many people at the end you can meet. And, of course, you get this as you get further into the game, game itself. So that's pretty cool. So it's not going to be one of those things where there's so many characters that it's exhausting to get and things like that. This only has a limited amount of characters you, we can recruit, and I kind of like that. It makes it a little easier, and, you know, certain characters aren't getting um, outdated, I guess is the best way to put it. So, I 100% appreciate that. So, now the question is, how do I develop my heroes? So, basically, what you do is you go to... Well, their info is the first thing you always see. Uh, if you want to throw your money at the screen to get some resources, you can get different outfits for each person, depending on, you know, what your favorite outfit is. Uh, we won't worry about that for now. Oh, also, if you awaken somebody, you get an alternate costume, which is what I have here. Basically, if you get someone to five star, let me rephrase it. When you get them to five star, you get it. You automatically get a costume. So you have a default when you first start with every character, and then when you get them to five stars, they get like their I call it their awakened costume. Anyway, uh, equipment. This is where your resources really come in handy. Um, so when you're spending x amount of diamonds to get like 10x chest you're really trying to get the top tier items now 
my understanding is that tier four obviously is the best except the ones that are specifically made for certain characters so those are the ones that are going to be the hardest to get uh with the exception of the main hero because they give it to you as a tutorial uh there may be more uh, something better but i don't know yet i'm still kind of new to the game but yeah you want to give them good equipment uh, you want to get them good runes, which will be, this is another thing that will give you, you know, better abilities and stats and whatnot. The idea is, I, as far as level up potions, you re I only use it to balance out all of the characters I have so that their levels are almost matching. I'm not trying to necessarily max out one at a time or anything like that. I'm letting them all grow gradually. Because, um, again, I'm not trying to be, like, number one in a raid or nothing. This is more of a casual thing. So I'm making sure everybody's pretty much even to some degree. But uh, this is where you actually start doing stuff. So you get these little puzzle pieces. And then when you have enough puzzle pieces, you can upgrade. And then once you get them to their max upgrade, you can then evolve them. And when you evolve them, that's what brings them to their next star. But to evolve them, you need to be fully upgraded at whatever star you are. Have these resources to get to that next star and evolve. And then as you level up, you can level up the skills maxed to the level of your character, which is something you see in lots of other mobile RPGs. Uh, I'll shout out Heroes Charge, because that was the first game that I remember playing RPG-wise, where basically your skills leveled up with you. But you have to spend resources to level those skills, which is just gold, really. It's pretty cheap. Nothing too crazy. Um, everybody also has traits. Um... I don't remember exactly what this is based off of because I haven't really been paying attention, so I'm not going to lie, I don't know yet. And then there is something called Awakening, but your team level has to reach 18 to receive that, so it's going to be in a later tutorial as I play the game. And I think that's when you can uh, get like special abilities that you can't normally get you know, regularly. So there you have it. And then let's go ahead and do a little bit of combat because, I mean, a lot of people, that's what they're here for is to see some action. Boom, tough acting to acting. Anyway, so we're going to go to challenge. Because we have a mission, apparently. So, basically, once you get to certain parts of the game or reach a certain level, you can unlock certain things. So, right now, I have four different things that I can do that will give me gold, hero pieces, evolution materials, and experience potions. We're going to do one round of each. Um, now... What I'm going to be doing here is the first go around, I'm just going to do it as if I'm going to the next level, but the rest of them is going to be full auto, and I'll explain what I mean. So anytime we're doing a new level, it's basically semi-auto. So I will spend resources. I've already squatted up, and if you want to squat up, basically you hit squad. There you go. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to hit auto squad, and then it'll set up a leader. If you want to change your leader, you're more than welcome to do so. And if you have, you know, more than five liters, you can make, make a decision, basically. So let's get started. So the reason this is going to be semi-auto is because my movement's going to be auto, but if I want to use my special abilities, I have to actually manually tap it, which is perfectly fine. But if you've already beat a level, then you get full auto where they'll do their abilities naturally. So each of these are different modes. So this is kind of the protect the payload kind of a thing. If you're familiar with, uh, I think it's Overwatch that does something similar. Except for, you know, you're using people with spells and swords and whatnot. Really, really cool. And I'm actually not even really using my abilities right now. I'm just kind of doing my thing. Now, everybody else that has blue bars, they're, auto, they're in full auto, which means they are actually doing their abilities on their own. Whoops. I just wasted an ability, not realizing it. That's basically what you're doing. You're just kind of protecting this payload, and boom, you're pretty much golden. This is really cool. I love the graphics in this game. I love the combat. I like the fact that the AI is actually smart. This is one thing that I can say about this RPG that I don't see in almost any RPG, period. And I'm talking like console or mobile. Most of the time when you're playing an RPG, 
and you have AI, you know, combatants, they're usually stupid. They usually just do certain things, even when it's not necessary, and it's just annoying. They, they waste, they're very wasteful with their abilities. They don't move properly. In this game, especially when you're doing certain type of raids where you can actually see where your enemy is about to hit, a lot of times in this game, the your actual AI will move out of its way to try to protect itself. I think that's awesome. Now, for this particular one and the rest of them, I'm going to go to auto battle so you can just see it in full auto where I don't have to do anything. Yeah, it tells you when auto battle is basically done. Although, I, now that I think about it, I think that I accidentally did the wrong thing. I was going to actually play this twice, so I actually need to stop it in here in a moment. But at least you'll be able to see what this mode is like. So this particular mode, you're basically just fighting two separate um, heroes, really. It's pretty simple. And now it says full auto, so I don't have to do anything. Everybody moves and does their abilities without my needing input. And there you go. It's been cleared. I got me some more items. I got me some pieces to help me out. Pretty legit, right? All right, so we'll go and go to the next mode. And this is something you're going to want to do daily. I think you get three shots a day at this. So we're going to do full auto on this one as well. And of course, as you look at the loading screens, it introduces you to certain people that you can recruit. The story in this game is really, really interesting too. I really, really dig the story a lot. Now, granted, when it comes to storylines, I am pretty easy to please, but there are a lot of games that don't do it well. So this is more like you're just protecting the base. Like, you're not moving through the map so much, you're just preventing an onslaught from trying to deal too much damage to the base. So I like how they have different game modes, if you will. And you'll see this type of stuff even in the actual um, story itself. Uh, one thing that I haven't went over as well is if you're in a map and you're only allowed to have X amount of people, the game will allow you to randomly spawn one of your allies that's not a part of your team for a certain amount of seconds. It's really convenient, and I'll show you that here later. Actually, that actually already happened. There was a lady there that was helping me out, so apparently it does work here too. Now, whoever ends up being subbed in for a little bit, or not subbed, but just added, they don't gain experience for being in the battle because they're just being a helper. They're not actually part of the squad. Because actually, they did appear, but... Oops. I did not mean to do that. Apparently, we're going to watch it again. Well, I'll show you. All right, so there's going to be a little pile of lady that's going to show up here in a minute. There she is. Okay, in the back there's a woman with a shield, like a or the one in the white dress and blonde hair. She's the one that just appeared. She's actually not even in my squad right now, but she shows up. And she's there basically for a certain amount of seconds, and then she'll disappear. And then once a certain amount of, uh, of a cooldown is done, then she'll reappear again, or another hero will reappear again. So that's basically what that is. Sorry for letting, making you guys see this twice. That was kind of an accident. I actually did not want to do that. I just forgot to take the auto off. <laughs> so we're going to watch this. But that's the base that we're supposed to protect. It has its own hit points. And there you have it. But notice that blonde paladin lady is not in the squad. So she doesn't get any experience because she's not part of the, the actual active team. She was just an extra helping out. So that's really, really cool that the game does that. Because I was a little disappointed at first. Because in certain places, you only have three heroes. And then, you know, you get more heroes. Like, well, what am I going to do with these extras? That kind of sucks. But then the game does actually make up for that. So that's really, really cool. Um, I did base defense. Let's do subjugation. Subjugation. No breathing. Anyway. That was my own remix. Don't judge me. So I don't think that 
being that there is a very limited amount of characters you can use, I don't think there's really a tier list as far as heroes. I think it's more of a tier as far as equipments and strategy. And the strategy part really comes in handy in Arena. But there's that paladin lady with that aura again. She just randomly appeared. And like I said, she's there for a certain number of seconds and then she'll be gone. But it's so cool how the game lets you do that. And see, she disappeared. I don't know if you noticed or not, but she actually disappeared. Those of you who understand the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you who've never played this, you're like, what is this fool talking about? Yeah, being that I have like a five-man squad plus one of my people actually have uh, minions they can summon makes it weird. Now, if you noticed, um, when that big thing was doing like their AoE, my people were actually moving away from its uh, attack range. Like I said, the AI is so smart in this game. It is ridiculous how well, like the people who made this game, they they put in work. They put in serious work into making the AI smart. That's a big deal. And there's something else here I'm going to show you too. Well, oh, turned out about off. There's something else I'm going to show you too that really sold me on this game. Uh, so I'm going to show you that actually right now. I just got to remember where you could go to do it. Oh man. If you're like me, you might appreciate this too in a certain aspect. Let me see if I can figure out where to go. Because I don't want to just say it yet. I just want to go to it. Let me see. Is it... I think it's... I don't remember where it is. It says it's not challenge, I don't think. It's not compete. Uh, it's not the workshop. Oh yeah, I get my goodies. Maybe it's event? You know, it is hero. I'm dumb. Hero book. Okay, cool. Uh, that was the most simplest thing in the world and I botched it. Anyway, so go to hero book and check this out. Notice how the music changed here. The Chosen One is the name of the song. I think, or yeah, I think it's called The Chosen One. Now let me tap on somebody else. The Dreamer. Yeah, each character has their own theme music. That is huge. Uh, those of you who know me really, really well know that I'm very critical when it comes to gaming music. And a game that has a theme song for each of its individual characters, these people put effort into this game smart ai a soundtrack for each character are you kidding me who does that this game is ridiculous this is and it's going to be rough for me to say because you know me i don't like to hype certain games way 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 too much even though i do it anyway this is arguably one of the best mobile rpgs i've ever played and i've only played it for about a week so this guy has his own theme music I love that. I, I, I'm i a huge fan of video gaming music. Uh, some of you know that I've been to Video Games Live in San Antonio, which was amazing. I think this was back in 2017 or 18 when I went. I think it was 2017, actually, is when I went to Video Games Live. And it was the most amazing thing that I've been to in a long time. Yeah. Dude, this game is so good. Like... The production value in this game must have been super high. Like, and I'm just guessing because, like I said, there are things in this game that no other game does. But that's that paladin lady I was telling you about. She is the one that's been randomly spawning in that's not actually a part of the team. She was just kind of in my reserves. So if I had, like, three other reserves that weren't participating, they would spawn a random one. I don't believe you get to choose, which is fine. And that's part of the reason I level everybody evenly, so that if I get a spawn, they'll be equally leveled. So I, there's a reason. There's a method to my madness. But I love this. This is just so good. 
This 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 kind of a small detail sells me on a game easily. You want my attention? Good music, good story, and of course some cool game modes. All right, so let's go ahead and do. Uh, let's see if we can do a raid. Actually, now the way it works is you can go to the square and join up with others, or you could uh, go to another spot, which is probably what I'm going to do actually. And here, what I could do is I could click on the sword shield thing. And if I'm able to join, I would join. Now, this one's full, so I can't join. I don't typically do this because I've found out that it's actually kind of difficult to join randoms. Because either your level's too low or it gets full too fast. So what I typically do, I'll go ahead and back out. God, this game is so good. I'll go to the raid station and I'm able to do one a day of, you know, my own. So I'll go ahead and start with the stronger one, I guess. And then it will usually tell you, I can either auto enter to see if there's someone ready and there's no one available to join, or I can create my own game. I can make a public where others join. Uh, like if I had a guild or something, I can get them to join in, or a friend, I can get my friend to join in. Or I can make it private. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. I'll just do public just in case somebody, a random joins in. But really, um, if no one joins in before I pick somebody, I'm just gonna be picking random. So I typically use her, uh, just cause I like to be the support character. I'm not gonna be controlling her, but uh, most people don't like being a support character, so I'm more than welcome to take that role. Uh, but no one's joining at the moment. And again, it's really hard to find people so you know, or get people to just randomly join. So I just pick people in a list and I just hire them. Like I have no problem with that. So that's number one. A uh, third person is, or another person has not joined still. So I'll find another five star. And there you go. I made a little bit of a variety. So I can just hit start or enter. And again, this is going to be full auto. I'm not going to be controlling it. Yeah, he's upset. So I'm going to hit full auto. There we go. Now keep in mind that when, they, when you see a threat thing, they will try to avoid it. If they can. Yeah, see that line of fire? You know, everyone tried to get away from it. And you can see the boss's gauge and stuff like that. And this is good, you know, basically because you get certain resources. So once you're done, then you, you can just exit. And then there you go. It'll tell you that you won. And there you go. So I'll exit. I'll hit the little... Now, if I want to stick around, I could just to do certain spells and stuff just to show off or whatever. So that's for, like, you know, abilities or whatnot. But either way, uh, we'll get out of here. It'll even tell you how good your Wi-Fi signal is, which mine is usually pretty good. Usually. And boom, I just beat a raid boss. So, pretty cool. I really, really like it. Uh, now, I've never done any of the dungeons yet, and then, um, there's no current event, so I can't show that off, unfortunately. Um, and again, I'm still new, so there's probably certain things I just can't do yet, which is fine. Uh, one thing that I will briefly go over, and I say briefly because there's a lot of detail that comes into this. The Coliseum, which is basically arena, PvP, whatever you want to call it. This is where, like strategy really comes in handy so when you're in the coliseum you're basically going up against other people like you normally would uh and what you can do is well let's see what, oh yeah i'm on the wrong thing squad when you go to squad you actually can do an ai settings and you can actually pick 
what their priorities are going to be. Are they going to go after the supporting enemy? Are they going to be going after the enemies that interrupt? Are they just going to kill the person with the lowest HP? Uh, and then what you can do is you can make it to where uh, they retreat when your HP is low or don't change the target until the target falls. So you can just be relentless. So that's really, really interesting, some of the detail that that goes into what you can actually do. I'm sure there's a good tutorial on which what are good recommendations. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna put everything on, I'm gonna leave everything on auto, and then we're just gonna find an opponent. Oh, I never did get my reward, whoops, okay. All right, so I'm only 61,000. These people are much tougher than me, so you're gonna see me get my butt kicked so bad. Well, let's do this. I don't mind you guys seeing me lose, but this, but this is kind of interesting what this looks like. Oh, you can check like compatibility. Uh, you can check uh, first target, so you'll know who's going after who. Um, and then details basically let you know what each person's powers or power level is. As you can tell, these their squad is much better than mine. Uh, I I have pretty much lost. But let's go to battle. Let's do this because I want to show it off. It's interesting. It is a bit of a cluster and a mess. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's literally like in a battle arena. It is crazy. It can be a bit hard to follow if you don't know what you're looking at. Now, if you see someone get grayed out or black and whited out, uh, that basically means they're dead, which I've already lost like three of my people. They've only lost one. So now it's a one on three and I've lost. Which I expected. And of course I have a little announcer that doesn't really do a whole lot, but you know. But you're going to get the point here. So this is a really in-depth way of allowing auto to go because again, you can change up your strats as far as who you go after, how when do they retreat, stuff like that. So it's, it's really interesting how they did that. And I, and I do like it. It's different. Again, the developers of this game, they really put effort into making this what it is. I'm very, very proud to show this off. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't really want to do a story because I don't want to spoil anything. But we're going to go do it a little bit of an adventure. Screw it. We'll do it. I did this with... Um, Knight's Chronicle, so... Did I? Yeah, I think I did. So, yeah. So, now, in this game, when you're doing the adventure, the game makes things easy for you. Uh, I'm going to hit this thing right here, and it'll basically tell me where to go on the map if I'm confused. Or, if you look at the left part of the screen, it'll actually say Haunted Forest Chapter 3. If I just tap it, my squad will automatically walk there. And then if you see something in blue, it's usually a side quest, which you definitely want to do. Now, I'm going to, miss. yeah, my support's on. Um, so, notice right now I can only have a max of three characters. What's going to happen, like I mentioned earlier, is when the match starts and I'm ready to do battle with something, if another squad member will randomly appear. So, you'll see that here in a moment. It might be easier to see instead of that cluster from earlier. <laughs> Also, they do have uh, Japanese voice acting in this game as well, which I appreciate a lot. And boom, number four just came out. She came from like the top of the screen, but she's there. <laughs> and I'm not gonna use any of my abilities. I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna let my uh, teammates do their abilities. Typically in the adventure mode, I don't do any of my special abilities unless I'm up against a boss because I don't typically need to do anything. The AI is so smart that I don't have to care. And there you have it. 
So that's a little bit of a sneak peek of the adventure mode. I kind of wanted to check out some of the... Oh, you know what? I know what I can do. I don't have to do the adventure mode to show you dialogue. I just remembered a nice little trick you can do in this game. It's not really a trick, but uh, I'll go back to it. I'll show you guys real quick. All right, so let me get out of here. We're going to go to, I think it's Hero. No, 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 no. Well, let's check Hero. Mm, hero book. Mm, info. Video replay. It's on the bottom. I just didn't see it. So what we'll do is we'll play, we'll play this video. You'll like this a little bit, maybe, hopefully. あの自負するほどの腕前。さまじい速度も強さも振り下ろしだった。くそ。何なんだよ、あいつ。あの人、名門ライアン家の新鋭白狼よ。後悔白狼もあいつとの戦いは避けるらしいわ。それほどのすごでな
Now, I haven't done any of this yet, so I'm not going to really do a tutorial on this part yet. But know that you can cook and you can use alchemy. Now, you think, why would you want to do any of this? Well, the thing about cooking is if you're actually trying to recruit someone by going to the inn, you can actually... Did you see that uh, meat t together with a full moon tea? If I had a full moon tea, I would actually be able to, you know, recruit her faster. It would up the uh, affection points, which, by the way, my stuff's already reset. Dang, have I been doing this video for half an hour? Holy crap. I don't usually do long demo videos. Wow. But this game is just something special. Oh, here, I'm about to recruit somebody. That's kind of funny. And boom, I have just unlocked a new hero. So I'm actually kind of glad that I took my time in this video because I got to show you that. And then now what I can do is since, you know, I have an extra slot for finding somebody, I go to connect and I can go with the next person that I want to recruit. And I have a wide variety of people that I can recruit here. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to do this one. Uh, we'll just go ahead and hit the connect button and boom, we are connecting. And then I would just go through the process of doing the free thing, uh, spending gold and then using some of the items I get throughout the game. And if I was cooking, like if I had a celestial tree, uh, herb tea, then I'd be able to get her affection up even more. Uh, so yeah, like I said, really, really cool little things. The alchemy you can just basically use to create items that you need in the game. I haven't really pushed into getting into all that, but like I said, this game has a lot to it. It's really, really cool. I love it. So hopefully this has tempted you to at least try the game at the very least, but I think you'll love it. I really do. If, if you're big into mobile RPGs, this is probably like cream of the crop or pretty close to it, uh, depending on your taste. But that's all for the video today. I hope you enjoyed this demo. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.